I first started hearing about OSHA as my daughter was participating in local youth theater programs. It was thought of as a magical place. With a little investigation, we found out it actually was an after-school program at Los Alamitos High School that provided training for serious artists like my daughter Megan. At that time, back in the early 90s, OSHA had a modest operating budget and offered only a few conservatory programs. In 2000, when Megan was finally old enough to audition, OSHA had become a standalone, independent public charter school and was moving to its very own campus in Santa Ana. Enrollment was growing quickly and the administration was continually adding new strategic programs based on demand and industry trends. It was a very exciting time in the school's history and an exciting time to be part of OSHA. We were not only excited about this new campus, but really excited about Megan being a part of this culture. When you have passionate, artistic kids who bring their art throughout all parts of the academic culture, it creates a tangible energy that's incomparable to any other high school that we participated in. We have enjoyed watching OSHA grow over the 12 years we've been involved. It's grown to over 2,000 students, an operating budget of over $20 million, over $7 million of which is raised annually by the local community, more than any other arts high school in the country. For the past several years, I've run a billion dollar software company and recently joined the finance committee as a part of the OSHA board. I immediately was exposed to the financial status of the school and it was completely amazed at how well run this school is from a fiscal perspective. As a parent, it gave me great comfort to know that this school was run so well and so efficiently. Orange County School of the Arts is a dream come true. The model that they have made for this school is such a model for success that I don't know why this model isn't being implemented all over the place because it's working here. People are thriving here. I'm always impressed by the personal sacrifices that students and families make because they recognize the value of what it means to be a part of this amazing school. It amazes me that high school students commute from all over Southern California, taking the train every day from San Diego, Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and Riverside, just to be a part of the OSHA family. I wake up at 6 o'clock every morning to catch the 7 o'clock train with about 150 other OSHA students. The train rides about 45 minutes and then I get to Santa Ana at 7.45 and then I take a bus from the train station to OSHA. Taking the train helped me gain a degree of independence and that independence has been followed by a degree of maturity because I have to look after myself a little bit more. Now that I go to OSHA I really have to choose how to spend my time very wisely because there's not that much of it. You really can't find what OSHA has anywhere else locally. When I was in middle school, I started getting more into actually writing my own stories. And eventually I realized that at OSHA, I could have the opportunity to train to become a really good writer. You get to work with professionals who have been doing this as their career choice for most of their life. So you really get a sense of how the business works. When I'm auditioning for colleges, them knowing that I went to OSHA, they already understand I've been through a rigorous program. So they know I can handle what their program holds in store for me. I was really uneasy about going to a normal high school because it would have been really big. It would have been easier for me to get lost in a crowd. What makes OSHA feel like home is the community and how all of my friends and everyone at OSHA really interacts with each other. It's just such a warm environment to grow up in. At OSHA you have, you have a chance to stand out and to define yourself in a way that you don't at most schools. We're all committed to what we do and we all care about making a bigger impact in the world and so I think there's sort of this unspoken sense of gratitude that OSHA exists because it's a sanctuary for us. There will be bands playing at 10th Street on lunch on Fridays and you'll see people around on the sidewalks looking at us, clapping their hands wishing they were at this school. The way that the world is going and the way that the world is changing, it's important to be creative and it's important to be innovative. I think that the legacy that OSHA has makes me really proud to be here. And whenever people ask me what school I go to, I say, oh, I go to OSHA. They know that I'm really serious about my artwork and what I want to do. 
What I've enjoyed most about being involved with OSHA is getting to know the wonderful students. And these students deserve a campus environment that matches their enthusiasm and commitments to the arts. What we are doing is asking for community support to help us realize our dream, to help us grow our campus so we can provide needed facilities for our students. When the school is completed, it will be a wonderful urban campus with over 300,000 square feet of facilities, including a new 60,000 square foot instructional center featuring a state-of-the-art science center with eight science labs, a music center with a large choir and music rehearsal facilities, and intimate practice rooms, and a dance center with 14 spacious dance studios. This new building will create a beautiful central quad featuring a stage for outdoor performances surrounded by green space where students can create, collaborate, and showcase their talents. A new student drop-off and pickup area will also be created off of Sycamore Street. A significant interior renovation of our existing symphony hall will be complete, as well as technology improvements for the digital media, film, and television conservatories. We are excited that John Sergio Fisher is our architect and that he has created a thoughtfully designed building reflecting the youthful and artistic nature of the school and our students. These capital improvements will benefit the school's 2,000 current students and thousands of young artists for years to come. The campus expansion will be a model center for arts education that will make the community proud and it will be unequaled in the state and in the nation. Please join us and other community leaders in this important investment in the very best in public education. You've had the opportunity to see our masterpiece in the making. You've heard from all our talented kids. We've shared our vision of what this school could be. And now we'd like to invite you to, to share in that vision. Join me in helping to make the Orange County School of the Arts the premier art school in the country and helping our current students and our future generations of students thrive. I want to thank you so much in advance for your generosity and for being part of the OSHA family.